This is Larry Under Pressure. Welcome to the channel. In this cook, we will be demonstrating an easy, delicious, healthy garbanzo bean soup made in the crock pot. This dish begins with dried beans and only takes three hours from start to finish. This is a Larry Under Pressure production. Now, here he is. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. With this cook, we're fixing something that's real easy to fix, real good, extremely fresh tasting, and something you can do in the crock pot. And from start to finish, it's about three hours. I'm gonna go through it with you. It does have quite a few ingredients, but it's all real simple. I discovered it by accident. As you know, I grew up in Florida and there was a lot of Cuban influence on the cuisine there. And a lot of dishes use garbanza beans or chickpeas uh, in Spanish bean soup and all kinds of different recipes. So I developed this mm, kind of after the Spanish bean soup recipe, but not exactly. This is my own. So let's get started with it. Uh, the good thing about it is you can fix it in a smaller crock pot like we're doing tonight in this one, or you can double up the ingredients and cook it in a bigger one whatever you like to do. I fix it in the small one and then I take um, a big bowl of it to work and heat it up in the microwave at work. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with one cup of dried rinsed chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you call them in your neighborhood. And to that we're going to add two small red skin potatoes that I've cut up. And with the red skin potatoes you don't have to take the skins off them. They're, they're real good just the way they are. And cooking the three hours that it takes to finish the beans, um, the potatoes aren't overdone. And then I've cut up a stalk of celery into cubes to add a little bit, bit of freshness. And a few carrots. I had a bag in the refrigerator of the cut up carrots that I bought at Publix and I thought I'd add them because they'll add a little bit more flavor to it. Hmm, lost my voice. A little bit more flavor to it. Next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a teaspoon of onion flakes. You know I like to use the flakes because I don't like a strong taste of onion. One teaspoon full of um, Italian seasoning to get some herbs. A teaspoon of red pepper flakes to add a little bit of heat. That's completely optional. Everything actually that I'm putting in it is optional. It's, it's just what you want to make it your own. I'm just giving you thought starters. One teaspoon of turmeric. And the turmeric is really good because it gives it a little bit of a kick. And it also adds a nice kind of an amber color. And then I've got a teaspoon of coarse ground salt and a teaspoon of coarse ground pepper that I'm adding. And then one of my secret ingredients is out on my terrace. I have, um, I'm growing um, rosemary and thyme. So I've cut a few sprigs and I'm going to put them in there and just let the sprigs cook with the rest of it in order to give it a good fresh flavor. And then I've got a couple of bay leaves. And that's all. Don't worry about trying to remember what all I'm putting in there because the recipe will be in the information below and you can highlight it and print it. The last thing I'm going to add is the liquid and the reason I waited for the last thing is because it's not sensitive about how much liquid you have. It'll just make the soup have more, have more broth or less broth. And um, so with this small of a crock pot, I wanted to make sure that I had everything in there so that I'd know exactly how much broth to use. I have three cups and that's been working out pretty well. So let's see what we do with the three cups. Yeah, the three cups is going to work perfectly. We've got plenty of room left in the pot to put the lid on. Let's stir it up. Again, those garbanzo beans are dry. I have not soaked them. All I've done is rinsed them and looked through them to see if there are any foreign particles or anything in them, and they were clean as they can be. Got that stirred up. Let's turn it to high. We'll put it on high, and it's generally been running about three hours. It'll be important that from time to time, particularly when you get up to about the three-hour mark, that you 
taste the garbanzo beans and make sure that they're not overcooking or that they're at about the tenderness that you want them to be to eat. And then once it's done, you can turn it to low and let it sit there for a while till you're ready to eat it. Or you can do like I do, let it cool off, put it in a container and put it in the refrigerator for the night. It refrigerates great and you can eat on it for two or three days, uh, particularly if you make a big batch. So let's put the lid on, the crock pot's on high, and we're going to let it go. We'll check back in a little while when it's time to check it, probably at the two hour mark. I'll come back and we'll check it then. This garbanzo bean soup has been cooking now in this little crock pot for about 2 hours and 45 minutes. So I thought we'd open it up and take a look and maybe give it a stir. It looks like it's cooked. It looks great. The color is good because of the spices that we put in it. The potatoes are already getting soft. Let's dish some up in a little bowl. Let it cool a little bit and we'll give it a taste. It's been in the ramekin long enough that it should have cooled off enough to taste. Let's see. Oh. It's ready. If you like your, your beans real soft, let it go for three to three and a half hours. In this two hours and 45 minutes, they still have a little texture and they're very good. Give this a try and see if you don't think it's one of the best lunches that you've had in a long time. Give it a try. Leave some comments below. Let us know what you think. If you have some suggestions for some additional ingredients to jazz up the flavor, let us know that too. If you've enjoyed this video, like all of the others, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button and share it. We appreciate what you do and we appreciate you visiting our classes and we'll see you on the next class. Bye bye for now. That wraps up this session. We really appreciate your joining us. A full recipe is listed below as well as Amazon purchase links for many of the products Larry uses on the channel. While below, help support what we do by subscribing to our channel. It's a big help in getting our voice out to more viewers. We hope to see you back for our next videos. Thank you again, and take care.